Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a stem and leaf plot, and we see that right down here. And it shows the scores of eight people at a dance contest. We need to find the difference, so that gives us a clue that we are going to need to subtract between the highest and the lowest score. So the most important thing of any stem and leaf plot is we need to understand the key right down here. So the six and then a big line and then eight means 6.8. It's kind of confusing because you have that extra period, but they just were writing a sentence. They needed that period. So really it's 6.8. So six line eight means 6.8. So really let's pretend that this is a decimal. I'm just going to put some decimals down here. So I'm going to put the ones place right here. And I'm going to put the tenths place right here. So we're going to kind of pretend like this is a place value chart, and that line is the decimal separating whole numbers from decimals. So that's easy. Like this one right here is 7.5. That's pretty simple. But what do we do with, like that first row, 6.899? Well, that's actually not 6.899. Here's the tricky thing about a stem and leaf plot. Each number listed in the leaf is separate and it is attached to the stem on the left in the same row that it's in. So let me list the numbers in this stem and leaf plot. So the very first number, you always start with the stem right here. So I'm gonna put a six point, and then the very first number is this very first leaf right here, 6.8. So it's not 6.899, it's simply 6.8, because this individual number in the leaf part 8 represents its own number. The next number is going to be 6.9 because that is our next number in the leaf. The next number is going to be 6.9 again. Notice how there's two nines. So they repeat the nines, which means there are three numbers in the six leaf, in the, in the six stem, 6.8, 6.9, and 6.9. Now, if we go to the next row that was pretty simple right we were going to say 7.5 and then we need 8.2 and you should figure out how this is working now so here's our 8.2 and then 8.7 is separate it's not 8.27 the 2 and the 7 they're both tenths place that are separate numbers and then we're going to finish this out with a 9.5 and then a 9.7 so we got a 9.5 and then a 9.7. So these are our eight numbers, and we've actually put them in order from lowest to highest. So the purpose of a stem and leaf plot is so that you can see bunches of numbers, and you can see where the groups are. So we can see that the, the stem that has the most is the six stem. The stem that has the least is the seven stem. And if you want to see a number that was repeated, well, you can see a repeated number easily right here. It's this 9. The only number that's actually repeated is that 6.9. Even though we've got a few 7s, right? we got some 7s right there. We've got a few 5s right there. They're on different stems. And if they're on different stems, that means they're actually different numbers. So 6.9 are the only two. So what we need to do here is we need to find the difference between subtract the highest and the lowest and that is actually called the range so that term in a data set actually has a name and it's called the range simply find the highest find the lowest subtract and that is a measure of spread so that's going to tell you how far spread apart the data is which is something that's interesting so our highest number is 9.7 lowest number is 6.8 are going to need to regroup a little bit. Let's bring that decimal down. That's 8. That's 9. 2.9. The answer is C.